Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you three places that you can find free videos for your students to download and reuse in classroom projects. So let's start with Pexels.com, which offers not only pictures, but lots of videos. And let's go over to the right hand corner and select free videos. And now we're going to do a quick search. Maybe I want a cat video. And we'll find all kinds of cat videos here. Let's say I want to use this one. And now I can simply hit the download button and it saves directly onto my desktop. And I'll just drag it into a folder that I want to use. And again, that's pexels.com. You can find it at videos.pexels.com if you just want to go to the videos section. Next up, we'll take a look at Stockio. You find it at stockio.com. And here we're going to select videos. And let's look for a dog video. And we have a bunch of dog videos here. And again, click on it. Select the free download button. And it downloads directly onto your computer. Now, in both the cases of Stockio and Pexels, I didn't log in or sign up. You can log in if you want to, but you don't need to in order to download any of these. And none of these require attribution, although you certainly can give attribution if you'd like to. And last but not least is Pixabay, which I've been using for many years to find public domain images, but it also offers many public domain videos. And we'll select videos from the search menu. And let's look for a picture or a video of a cat. And there's one. One of the things I like about Pixabay for a video, when you select the free download button, you do have the option to choose a smaller size. So if space is a concern for you, you might want to choose a smaller size. And you can download that. Now, one of the things that I recommend doing if you're afraid of students wasting time on the web looking for video clips is make make yourself a Google Drive folder or if you're a Microsoft user, perhaps a OneNote notebook, uh, some shared folder where you have video clips for students to access. So I'm going to use Google Drive here and just drag in a few video clips. And then I'll share this folder with my students so that they can quickly find some video clips to use in their projects. So that's three places to find video clips that your students can use in classroom projects. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com and practicaledtech.com.